Hey, Martin here. Today we're excited to announce Remnote 1.20 with our new phone mobile app, text reader, lightning editor engine, translations throughout the entire app, and many more quality of life improvements. Let's jump into it. First, we have a brand new mobile app on both iPhone and Android. It opens up over 10x faster, often in less than half a second, bringing you to the new mobile home. At the top, you can see the number of cards that are due today, and you can jump into a practice cube which loads immediately, letting you take advantage of any downtime or free time you have throughout the day to get through your flashcard. From the home, you can also quick capture your thoughts. Just open the app and immediately begin capturing your next great idea. I can view it in the full editor, where I can either go and add more nested ideas, make links to other ideas, and more. Search also works offline, so if you either want to find or elaborate on some existing idea, you can just type it in and have it instantly come up powered by a super fast local engine. In addition to having all your notes offline, you can now make individual PDFs available offline just by pressing this button here. You'll also notice that we revamped the look and feel of all the menus throughout the app, making them easier to touch and smoother and nicer to look at, as well as fully revamped the mobile PDF reader. As you begin to read, the top and bottom toolbar automatically slides away, expanding your reading area, but still letting you view the page numbers, which are now present on each page for just a second. PDFs with small text can be inherently hard to read on mobile, requiring you to pinch to zoom in and then awkwardly scrolling around. To solve that, we've added a new text reader mode, which automatically converts your entire PDF document into a nicely readable text format. This mode maintains all content, headers, tables, images, and all the important information from your document, but allows it to reflow and have a bigger font size, making it easy to read both on mobile and any kind of device. If we jump back to the laptop for a bigger look, you can see that the text reader has all the great features from the PDF reader that you're used to, including being able to click on any sentence to make flashcards, highlight anything, and keep track of your reading process as you go. Additionally, you can now use your arrow keys to navigate up and down throughout the document. Just press up and down as you read, and you'll smoothly be led to each next paragraph. If you want an even more hands-off reading experience, from the top right menu, you can enable Listen with Text-to-Speech. That brings up this new toolbar at the bottom, and if I press play, you can hear the document read out. Unfortunately, although a few dozen of papers on the problem of local Hubble expansion were published... On the editor on the left, you can either make your own notes, your own flashcards, you can take highlights in the document and then link them in your notes. You can use the AI learning tools at the top here to either ask questions about the document or generate flashcards or quizzes from the entire thing. Finally, you can also customize the appearance, making it perfect to your own eyesight or reading needs. Next, Remnant 1.20 also brings our new Lightning Editor engine. It's powered by a new renderer that should be super fast, even on large documents or long tables, which were noticeably slower on the old editor. Sorry about that. Manipulating any kind of document and loading any kind of document should feel noticeably faster now as well. And we've also polished up all the animations and transitions, trying to make the core experience feel as joyful to use as we can. Scrolling large documents on mobile should feel much smoother than before. No more crazy jittering or slow loading. If you scroll a document with deeply nested bullets, we automatically keep those in view to let you keep on elaborating on any deep or complex ideas. You'll also notice a new revamped slash menu with a much cleaner look and feel, and new categories that should make it easier to find all of Remnode's different features. We've also added comprehensive translations throughout the entire app. To enable it, click on your name in the top left, press Settings, Language, and then just select whatever language you want to use. All text in the app, including menus, a sidebar, anything you can think of, will appear in your correct language. If you'd like us to add additional translations, which we can now do much more easily, please just let us know on the feedback forum. Finally, we've added many smaller quality of life improvements throughout the app. The initial syncing process when you log into a new device is now four to 10 times faster on some larger knowledge bases. If you're typing math, which you can do either by typing slash math or just by pressing the dollar sign twice, you can now see a new AI assistant allowing me to type something in natural language, such as this, and then letting me convert it to LaTeX in a single press. We've added the new space repetition scheduling algorithm, FSRS V6, which you can customize from your settings and then from schedulers here, if you want to change it globally, you can just press the pencil and switch to FSRS V6 here. On the desktop app, if your notes are in Chinese, you can now switch to Chinese search mode. You'll automatically receive a notification asking if you want to do so, and you should receive much higher quality search results. For PDFs and other sources, you can now select exactly which sections of the document you want to generate your flashcards, quizzes, etc. from, 
and the tool will automatically remember which sections that you've already used or not, and help you get the perfect flashcards that you need to study. On mobile, you can now add the Remnote Streak widget, which will proudly and prominently show your current streak, helping you jump into flashcards immediately to keep that going. There's a lot more that we've changed and could talk about as well, such as our new Google Docs style outdenting, and the hundreds and hundreds of bugs and smaller pieces of polish that we've added throughout the app over the past few months' summer cleaning and polish session. In general, we're continuing to work really hard to try to make Remnant the world's best app for learning and thinking, and all of our updates and our roadmap is really guided by all of your feedback. So thanks again for helping us on this journey, and happy learning.